The NFL champion Baltimore Colts opened the new season with an old face at quarterback, Johnny United. Roman Gabriel teamed with Dwindle Tucker to move the Rams into Baltimore territory. Roman Gabriel sparked Los Angeles to its first touchdown by throwing first to Larry Smith, number 38, a rookie from Florida. Gabriel followed up with a rollout pass to tight end Billy Truax. Two plays later, Gabriel returned to Truax, this time for a touchdown and a three-point lead for Los Angeles. The Rams tied the game again as Gabriel tossed to Willie Ellison for a score. Gabriel added some insurance midway in the final period with his third touchdown pass. This one to Wendell Tucker and it finalized the score at Rams 27, the champion Colts 20. The Rams supplemented a ferocious defense with the passing of Roman Gabriel to Wendell Tucker and remained atop the Coastal Division, opening up a two-game lead over the defending champions, the Baltimore Colts. The undefeated Rams exploded an offense against the Saints on Sunday. Roman Gabriel's shrewd manipulations of his offense cooled down New Orleans' pass rush and allowed him time to throw four touchdowns. This connection to Jack Snow made the score 7-0 in the first quarter. Jack Snow caught only three passes today, but all were good for touchdowns. This one at the flag made the score 19-7 early in the second quarter. In the second half, the Rams asserted their superiority as Gabriel hit Billy Truax with a one-yard TD pass. Jack Snow claims he has never been caught from behind. On Sunday, he never was. The Rams' 36-17 victory over New Orleans offered the same kind of brash statement to the Baltimore Colts. Now, try to catch us from behind if you can. Fifty thousand San Franciscans and a national television audience witnessed one of the most exciting games for many seasons. As the Rams without a loss and the 49ers without a win struggled on equal terms in the finest tradition of their great rivalry. Following a Ram field goal and a short 49er punt, Roman Gabriel then put the Rams ahead 10-7 on a pass to Billy Truax. The Rams, however, are undefeated because they don't wilt in a crowd. Roman Gabriel turned a potential loss into a substantial gain. These acrobatics serve to counteract San Francisco's frantic pass run. quarterback Roman Gabriel number 18 had a huge afternoon as he passed the Rams to victory over the Packers at times the Packers made things unpleasant for the huge six foot four inch 220 pound quarterback but Gabriel withstood these occasional beatings and this 51 yard connection to set back Les Josephson gave Los Angeles a 7 nothing lead Roman Gabriel touchdown 
as Los Angeles led 20 to nothing in the second period. With only a 20 to 14 advantage, Gabriel masterminded a drive that started with a pass to Jack Snow and culminated in a touchdown to tiny Wendell Tucker, number 14. Meanwhile, in Wrigley Field, the unbeaten Rams met the winless Chicago Bears, and defense prevailed. Veteran Roman Gabriel, number 18, a sure-fire candidate for most valuable player, showed he could run, too. The Rams continue their drive toward the Super Bowl, but had to rely on Bruce Gossett's leg to kick the Bears deeper into the Central Division cellar. The most important cog in Allen's offense is seemingly indestructible Roman Gabriel whom, not surprisingly, Allen calls the best quarterback in football. Last Sunday, Gabriel found himself in a passing duel with an old rival, San Francisco's John Brody, who'd been resting a tired, sore elbow the two previous weeks. Gabriel struck the first big blow on the game's first play as he passed from his goal line 40 yards upfield to number 14, Speedy Wendell Tucker. Gabriel tried to repeat his earlier success as he threw 40 yards upfield to number 84, Jack Snow. Snow was gone until number 48, Johnny White, caught him from behind. of the fourth quarter, Gabriel threw his third touchdown pass. some of the Los Angeles teams of the past, these Rams are all business. The reason for it is this man. Few coaches work as hard at the game as George Allen, and few command the intense loyalty from their players. Allen's team has won eight in a row, the best start in the NFL in seven years. It is an experienced, mature team that in the tradition of all winners, makes few mistakes. Quarterback Roman Gabriel is having his finest season. He has been intercepted only once all year and ranks first in touchdown passes with 17. He throws to fine receivers like 84 Jack Snow, tight end Billy Truax, and explosive newcomer Wendell Tucker. This year, Gabriel has another weapon, a consistent ground attack, led by Les Josephson and number 38 rookie Larry Smith. But the Rams' great strength is their defensive line led by the great Deacon Jones and the massive Merlin Olsen. They comprise the best left side to be found anywhere. On the right are two new members, number 72, Dyron Talbert, and number 79, Coy Bacon. They are backed up by 285-pound Roger Brown. This new version of the fearsome foursome has sacked opposing quarterbacks 37 times. 
once again tops in the league, while the offensive line has protected Gabriel on all but eight occasions. One of the biggest reasons is number 76, Bob Brown, generally regarded as football's finest offensive tackle. Joining him in a hometown reunion are former Eagles Maxie Bond, Jim Nettles, Izzy Lang, and Alvin Heyman. We're in the third quarter, Roman Gabriel and the Rams were to all but shatter Philadelphia's dream. quarterback as there is in football, Gabriel improvised on third and ten and got eight yards to set up a field goal attempt. After a pass to Snow, Gabriel rolled left then saw tight end Billy Truax all alone. Roman Gabriel's act two was just beginning to swing into full gear. Gabriel quickly moved into field goal range after the fumble recovery with one of his pocket scrambles for 22 yards. There were celebrities galore in Los Angeles to watch Roman Gabriel and the undefeated Rams take on Craig Morton and the once-beaten but injury-riddled Dallas Cowboys. Two of the NFL's leading pass-rushing teams made it difficult for either passer to be very efficient. Roman Gabriel got the Rams on the school board first as he withstood a fierce Dallas rush and unloaded a long pass to little number 14, Wendell Tucker. In the third quarter, Gabriel again fired to Wendell Tucker. Gabriel burrowed into the end zone to give the Rams an eight-point lead with only four minutes remaining. The Ram offense was not spectacular, but always sufficient to the needs of the day. Roman Gabriel passed for two touchdowns, one to Bob Klein, the other to Billy Truax, number 87, and the Rams led 17-13 in the last quarter. The leading man for the unbeaten Rams was rugged Roman Gabriel, who looked very much the part. A well-publicized Minnesota pass rush was not able to sack Gabriel once, but that isn't to say that it didn't make its presence felt. With pressure like this, the Rams were unable to produce a sustained offensive effort until late in the fourth quarter. A 77-yard drive looked more like the Rams of previous weeks. Larry Smith's diving catch gave Los Angeles hope and brought them to within seven points. Many of George Allen's finest moments have come at the expense of Don Shula and the Baltimore Colts. Against the Rams, however, a lead like that can disappear faster than clean air in a Los Angeles suburb. Roman Gabriel to Jack Snow made it 7-6 at halftime. And this is the NFL Game of the Week, the Eastern and Western Conference playoffs. The first part of our story tells how the West was won. 
From sunny California came the Los Angeles Rams, seeking revenge for an earlier defeat by their opponents today, the Minnesota Vikings. Led by swarthy Roman Gabriel and the fearsome foursome, Coach George Allen came north to Minnesota in hopes of fulfilling a season-long goal. The Purple Gang from the north would bring Roman's empire tumbling down in the Western Conference playoffs. He opened for a 7-0 lead and the first touchdown scored against the Vikings in the first quarter this season. And Gabriel was not afraid to run when he had to, despite Minnesota's hard-hitting defense. In fact, this was one of the roughest hitting games ever seen, and on a very cold Minnesota day, it was a wonder the players were able to hold on to the ball at all. Gabriel converted three third down situations in this drive with quick flips to set back Les Josephson, number 34. In the quarter, Gabriel and his tight end Billy Truax would lengthen the Rams' lead to 10. Truax, number 87, was an integral part of the Ram game plan, and his diving catches led Los Angeles downfield as Gabriel was now 10 of 13. From the two, a great play-action fake held the defense in, and Carl Eller failed to get to Gabriel. Truax beat his man, and his third catch of this drive put the Rams into a commanding lead. Gossett's extra point made it 17-7 at the half, as the Rams... A wise old man once said, a football game is 60 minutes long. The Rams were about to discover that the Purple Gang from Minnesota, unlike many other teams, refused to fold under a 10-point deficit. This has been the story of how the West was won.